Hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Yep, hey, this here is Thursday, October 20th, 2016, V-Blog number uh, 1021. Alrighty then, hey, um, let's see, what do we got going on in the upcoming events in St. Charles? Well... Let's see, we've got the uh, Legends and Lanterns from October 22nd through October 23rd, recurring daily 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Located down on Main Street in the, at 230 South Main Street, St. Charles, Missouri. Free admission, and uh, you can find finding its inspirational finding its inspiration from the past this festival will offer the vintage charm of Halloween in the 1910s to 1930s to the historical rituals and customs brought to the holiday by the Druids and the Victorians to the ethereal eternal atmosphere Duplicated in American ghost stories and Brothers Grimm fairy tales. This event will offer fun for guests of all ages. A little silly, a little macabre, but all in all fun. Legends and Lanterns will allow visitors to get in the spirit of All Hallows' Eve. The festival will feature scarecrows, Hay rides through history and 13 ghostly guests with historic Main Street as the backdrop. Alrighty, hey, and that being said, so that'll be, uh, um, let's see, 22nd and 23rd, that will be, um, Saturday and Sunday of this week. Alrighty. And then, Pumpkin Glow will be the 28th through the 29th, and that will be Friday and Saturday of next week. So, Pumpkin Glow, October 28th through 26th. Uh, recurring daily from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Historic Main Street, and don't you, don't you just love the way Main Street looks when it's illuminated? Join us for this historic St. Charles Pumpkin Glow. Shops open late. Come in and enjoy the enchanting sight of hundreds of glowing pumpkins along the street. Two days only, Friday, October 28th, and Saturday, October 29th. Bring your ca bring your camera, and many stores will be giving away samples and doing demonstrations. It's the weekend before Halloween. Note, this is not a trick-or-treat event. Trick-or-treat on Main Street will be October 31st. 2016 from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Alrighty then, those things being said, let's see what else we can do today. I could tell you a story, but I don't know one to tell you, so give me a second. Okay, I guess I could say back in the 70s, when I was a kid, uh, my mom and dad were involved in the JCs, Junior Chamber of Commerce, that is. Anyway, they used to have the St. Charles J uh, JCs Haunted House. Well, the first year that I was even involved in it was, it was down on Main Street, and it was like a, a duplex. And so you would go in one side, because they cut out the center wall. You go in one side of the duplex and you'd work your way through a maze, a dark maze, very dark maze, 
and then you would work your way uh, up the stairs, across one way, and then down the other side of the stairs through the last end part of the uh, haunted house. Well, in the maze, they had holes cut in the walls, and well, you'd stick sticks out through there, or you'd have a scary face and a flashlight you would flash on your face as the people went through. Well, that was my part of it. Well, later on, they moved it over to the Van Dyke Brewery, which is on Water Street, and whenever you'd go over there, um, we had a, a Van Dyke Brewery there. I was playing football back in those days, and, well, after practice, I would, uh, come over to the uh, haunted house and I'd go in through the back door because well mom and dad were inside so I was allowed to kind of get away with stuff like that so I went in through the back door and I'd work my way all the way up to the front well when I was up to the front that was when the uh, and I was still in football uniform except for my uh, shoulder pads so I had my jersey on and my football pants and uh, cleats, I guess. But anyway, um, I'd work my way up to the front, and I would kind of be a guide for the uh, people coming through. And it wasn't really that I was a guide. It was just that the girls would glom to my back and <laughs> try to push me in front of them so that they wouldn't get uh, caught up by the... Uh, ghosts, monsters, spirits, all the uh, things that you find in the haunted house. Anyway, it was a good time. I used to love it. Now, lately, I haven't seen a haunted house and I haven't seen the JC's haunted houses in ages, so I don't even know if they're still putting one together. I haven't really heard of much of what the St. Charles JC's are doing. They may have been in charge of the fireworks, but I know they used to be in charge of the fireworks all the time. So, anyway, that being said, Craig, close your ears. I'm about to sing one. All right, how about this one? Seven Spanish Angels. He looked down into her brown eyes, and he said, Say a prayer for me. She threw her arms around him, whispered, God will keep us free. They could hear the riders coming. He said, this is my last fight. If they take me back to Texas, they won't take me back alive. There were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. They were praying for the lovers in the valley of the gun. When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne and seven Spanish angels Took another angel home. Well, she reached down and picked up the gun that lay smoking in his hand. She said, Father, please forgive me. I can't make it without my man. And she knew the gun was empty. And she knew she couldn't win. But her final prayer was answered. When the rifles fired again, well, there were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. There were seven Spanish angels. They were praying for the lovers of the valley of the gun. I said when the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne, and seven Spanish angels took another angel home. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, there was
over seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. They were praying for the lovers in the valley of the gun. Alright. Let's give it another one. Let's try something else. We'll try some Sam Cooke. You know what really brought me up to singing these songs was uh, Frank C. Rose. Just reminded me of it. Frank C. Rose is uh, the uh, non-for-profit organization that was established by Bill Dennis in, to, in, in, to honor his father, Frank A. Dennis, a World War II veteran who fought at the Battle of the Bulge. Well, Frank's is a non-for-profit organization that provides guitar lessons at no cost to any military veteran. They also provide guitars and books for our military that are in service right now overseas. So, if you would like to get uh, free uh, guitar lessons, find yourself over at the, well, if you, if you're not very, if you never played and you would like to start playing find yourself over at the uh, ACF Foundry Art Center over on uh, at the uh, corner of uh, Clark and Riverside on at a uh, 10:30 a.m. to 11 or 10 o'clock a.m. to 11:30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. to 11, no, 10 o'clock to 11.30 a.m. over at the Art Foundry. And if you're a fairly good player and you would like to join a group that already plays pretty well, find yourself at the Spellman Building at the same time frame, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. All right, all right, Spellman Building is located over in uh, the Lindenwood College campus. Okie doke. That being said, here comes that Sam Cook. Well, before I start that, let me get a little drink of the water here. Me, 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 me. A la, 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 la. Okay. How about you send me? A darling, you send me. I know that you send me. Darling, you send me honest you do honest you do honest you do whoa you thrill me I know that you thrill me darling you 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 thrill me honest you do at first, I thought it was infatuation, but whoa, it's lasted so long. Now I find myself wanting to marry you and take you home. Whoa, you, you, you sent me. I know that you send me. I know you send me. Honest, you do. Oh, 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 whenever I'm with you, I know, I know, I know when I'm near you. Honest you do, 
honest you do. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know when you hold me. Oh, whenever you kiss me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honest you do. Honest you do. Honest you do. At first, I thought it was infatuation. But whoa, it's lasted so long. And now I find myself wanting to marry you and take you home. Oh, I know, I know, I know you send me. I know that you said me. Oh, you, 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 you said me. Honest, you do. Alrighty, one more. How about by Don Williams? We'll go, I believe in love. I don't believe in superstars, organic foods, and foreign cars. I don't believe in price of gold, the certainty of growing old. That's right is right, and left is wrong. The north and south can't get along. The east is east, and west is west, and being first is always best. But I believe in love. I believe in babies. I believe in mom and dad, and I believe in you. While I don't believe that heaven waits for only those who congregate. I don't like to think of God as love. He's down below, he's up above. He's watching people everywhere. He knows who does and doesn't care. And I'm an ordinary man and sometimes I wonder who I am, but I believe in love. I believe in babies, I believe in mom and dad, and I believe in you, yes, I believe in love, I believe in magic, and I believe in you, I don't believe in Virginity is as common as it used to be in working days and sleeping nights that black is black and white is white, that Superman and Robin Hood are still alive in Hollywood, that gasoline is in short supply, that the rising cost is getting by, but I believe in love. I believe in old folks, I believe in children, and I believe in you, I believe in love, I believe in babies, I believe in mom and dad, and I believe in you. Alrighty, folks, that looks like it's about time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And, well, the devotion today is your journey. Well, my journey kind of started out years and years ago when I was just a youngster, when I used to find God in a box. Yeah, I say that because I used to have a prayer cl closet which was my own personal space where I could go and I could find God. In the summertime I used to lay in an old refrigerator box down in the backyard of my mom and dad's house in our little junk pile, trash pile, whatever you wanted to call it. But anyway I'd lay in there in the summertime and I'd just 
connect with God. But then throughout my life, I just kind of got away from that. And then I had a pretty severe automobile accident. Well, that left me paralyzed in the wheelchair, and I realized how close to God I really was and how close he watched out for me. And so, therefore, that's when I became really close to God, and I like to share the gospel with anybody and everybody that would listen. So, anyway, you can go to odb.org, and you can read today's devotion, which is a parody of pretty much, I mean, which is a story that's fairly close to my own story. I'll be reading John fourteen fifteen through 21 today, and if you're keeping up with your Bible in a year, you'll be reading Isaiah 59 through 61 and Thessalonians 3, 2 Th- Second Thessalonians 3. All righty, here we go, John 14, 50, uh, 15 through 21. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may be with you forever. That is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it does not see him or know him. But you know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you after a little while, and the world will no longer see me. But you will see me, because I live, because I live, you live also. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, is the one who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father and i will love him and will disclose myself to him so there you have it john 14 15 through 21 all righty then hey you know i'm gonna have to say this is shenandoah brisk oh wait a minute i'm gonna have to say Goodbye, my friends, it's time to go home. I said goodbye, my friends, it's time to go home. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. All right, this here is Shendo Briscoe saying hello and how are you. And thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. You know, as always... God loves you, and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name, and come back and see me tomorrow, because, well, I'll be here, and I hope you are too.